please, man. Pretty please with a uh, cherry on top, King. Hey, YouTube, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be talking about how to find the right sensitivity in Fortnite on PC. I've talked a lot on this channel about how to improve your aim in Fortnite, and one of the biggest parts of having good aim is being comfortable with your sensitivity. Considering I haven't made a video yet specifically designated for finding the right sensitivity, I figured that it is about time I made a video about the topic. As always, I will have timestamps below in the description that divide the video up into the different topics I'll go over, so feel free to jump between these different sections of the video as you see fit. One last thing I'd like to mention before I get started is that sensitivity is all about what you're comfortable with, so what works for me may or may not work for you. This video isn't about finding the one universal sensitivity that is perfect for everyone, it will be more about the steps that you can take to help find the right sensitivity for you. All right, with all that being said, let's talk about how to find your optimal sensitivity in Fortnite. Okay, so first things first, no matter what your sensitivity is, it's not going to matter if your game doesn't run smoothly. I talk about this a lot in my videos because I really do think this is an important topic, but having your game run smoothly is a must if you want to find a good sensitivity. If your game is even the littlest bit choppy, or if you have any screen tearing going on, it's going to make aiming virtually impossible. So before I give any other tips, you should know that your game needs to run smoothly for any of these tips to really be applicable. I've gone over some ways to increase your FPS before in previous videos, but the two big things are make sure that you play on full screen and lower your quality settings until you are getting a bare minimum 60 FPS. If you have a higher hertz monitor, you can lower your settings even more to try to take advantage of that additional frame rate. Um, and if need be, you can also drop your resolution between 1080p, but just be careful that you don't lower your settings too much so that the screen becomes blurry and you can't actually track anyone. Once you are confident that your game runs smoothly, then you'll be ready to start testing with your sensitivity. In my opinion, a good rule to use to start out when finding the right sensitivity is ensure that if you move the mouse from the far left of your mouse pad all the way to the far right end, you are doing a full 360. This will make it so that if you have your mouse positioned in the center of the mouse pad, you'll be able to turn around in game completely and look behind you without moving your mouse off the mouse pad. Since people have different size mouse pads, this is where you can start to see why one sensitivity doesn't fit all, because the larger the mouse pad you have, the more leeway you'll sort of get to lower your sensitivity because you'll have more room to move your mouse around. So in general, one thing that's overlooked that may help you regardless of whether you prefer a higher sensitivity or a relatively lower sensitivity is actually getting a bigger mouse pad. Once you make sure you can do a 180, then you can start bumping your sensitivity up and down to see what you like best. From my experience, especially for Fortnite, I think it is much better to work up with your sensitivity than work down. What I mean by this is you should try to lower your sensitivity as much as possible and then slowly increase it as need be, rather than starting with a higher sensitivity and working down. I think this is the best way to do it in Fortnite at least, because what's most important is that you can make precise close range movements with your mouse. Of course you need to have a high enough sensitivity to build quickly, but your priority should first be to be comfortable smoothly aiming with guns in close quarters, and then you can work on making sure your sensitivity is high enough to quickly move and be able to build. As with a lot of things when you are tinkering with your sensitivity, you should be adjusting it up and down based on what you notice is happening in game. If you see you are consistently swiping past other players when you're trying to shoot them, then maybe you want to lower your sensitivity. And similarly, if you aren't able to keep up with people who are moving around you quickly, then maybe bump it up slightly. Whatever change you're making, I would say try to keep it small and incremental. Um, you don't want to make a big drastic change because that's definitely going to be really hard for your body to adjust to. Whatever you decide on, the most important tip I can give is to stay consistent with your sense and give yourself some time for finding out what you like. It's really easy to constantly adjust your sensitivity and get lost in trying to find that perfect number, but you have to remember that it all comes down to muscle memory. So if you keep tricking your muscles by changing your sensitivity, it's going to be really tough to get comfortable with whatever sensitivity you decide. Um, so just be mindful of that. Okay. Now that I have gone over some general tips, let's talk about what you need to know specifically for setting your sensitivity when it comes to Fortnite. 
The first thing you should know is that there are two components to your total sensitivity, your in-game Fortnite sensitivity and your mouse DPI. This is why looking at just a player's in-game sensitivity isn't very telling of their actual sensitivity, because two players with the same in-game sense could have different eDPIs based on what they set their mouse DPIs equal to. This is why just looking at a player's in-game sensitivity isn't very telling of their actual sensitivity, because two players with the same in-game settings could have different effective DPIs based on what they set their mouses equal to. As a frame of reference, I run on 500 DPI and 0.141 in-game sense, which when you do the calculation, comes out to an effective DPI of about 70. In general, the bigger the mouse pad you have, the lower you can sort of push your effective DPI down. I would say a good range to be in is anything under 80 and above maybe 30 or 40. Keep in mind that a higher eDPI means your mouse is more sensitive to movement and a lower eDPI means that your sensitivity um, is lower. I would say my sensitivity is a little higher than average, but it all comes down to what you're comfortable with and used to. I've always played games that require a high sensitivity, so I'm fine with it, but as long as you're sticking to those tips mentioned earlier, your effective DPI could be much different than mine, and that's fine. If you notice that your sensitivity in a lot of other games is relatively lower, then I would recommend starting with a relatively lower eDPI and working up, but if you're normally a very high sensitivity person, then you can feel free to start a little higher in the eDPIs and kind of work from there. One last thing about DPI and mouse sensitivity in-game is if you are just focused on your Fortnite aim, then try to avoid messing with your mouse's actual DPI unless you want the sensitivity for all the applications on your computer to be changed. Without getting too far into the specifics about sensitivity in Fortnite, I want to quickly talk about the different sensitivity values you will see in your settings. There is a lot that comes down to opinion when it comes to, for example, X versus Y sensitivity or ADS versus normal sensitivity that I'm going to talk about in this portion of the video. So like I said, just be aware that what works for me may or may not work for you. So when you go to the game tab in your settings, you'll see your X and Y sensitivities, your targeting sense, and then also your scope sense. In my opinion, I honestly think for the average player, keeping your sensitivity constant across the board is the best way to go. So as you can see for me, I have my X and Y sensitivities equal. Uh, and when I am targeting with a shotgun, for example, or scoping with a sniper, that value of 1 means my sensitivity will be just the same as if I was or wasn't aiming down sights. I've seen pros use different X and Y values, and there are people who like to have their sniper aim be a little more precise, which I think is totally fine, and whatever works for you is best. But just know that if you choose to go that way um, and kind of make your settings more specific, what that is going to do is it's going to add another layer of complexity that you're going to have to be aware of when aiming, which may or may not work. If you want to go out and test um, and start straying from that constant ADS versus X and Y sensitivity, the general pattern I have seen is people like to lower their ADS sensitivity to about 0.5 of their normal sense, and they drop their Y sense to be about a quarter or a third lower than their X sense. If you want to go test something like this out, I will have a few map codes that I've seen other YouTubers recommend credited down in the description below, and, and these seem to be a great way to test out new sensitivities and see what you're comfortable with. At this point in the video, hopefully you feel more comfortable with how sensitivity works in Fortnite, and you have a better idea of what to do to find the right sensitivity for yourself. Lastly though, I just want to give a few general tips that you should remember when changing your sensitivity. I know I've already kind of mentioned this, but in all aspects of your sensitivity, consistency is key. Whether it's your real life setup, your DPI, your in-game sensitivity, or really anything else, you are going to learn much quicker if you stay consistent. Constantly changing your settings is just going to throw your muscle memory off. So as you're tinkering with your sensitivity, really try to give yourself some time to decide if you need to adjust your sensitivity and make sure you know why. Lastly, something I always think um, is important to remember is that aiming is a very fluid and calm process. No matter your sensitivity, if you are nervous or jittery when aiming, you're going to miss your shots. Try to stay calm and can be controlled when aiming if you want to get the best results. And remember, your sensitivity is a very personal and subjective thing, so it might take more than just copying your favorite pro settings to find the right sensitivity. With time, 
you'll start to get used to your sensitivity, and once you develop that muscle memory, you'll be thankful that you made the change. All right, that is going to wrap things up for this video. Please do let me know if any of these tips helped you, or if there's something that I should have mentioned which I missed. As always, if you did find this video helpful, please do leave a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already. If you want to go above and beyond to help me out, you can enter my support a creator code, which is SpookLuke, in the Fortnite shop. Other than that, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. I'm down for you, shit, baby, I'm down for you I'm down for you Whenever the sun don't shine on the west side